Cold Case. Eddie Frizon was a wanderer. With no vehicle of his own, the Brockport resident walked everywhere. Or, says Chief Deputy Jerome Brewster, he'd hitch a ride. He wouldn't get into a car with strangers, but he would get into a car if he knew you. And in early May 2000, Eddie got into a car and never came back. His body was found on May 5th, floating at the brink of Buttermilk Falls in Leroy. This guy didn't drive. How the heck did he end up at Buttermilk Falls? He didn't get there by himself. Somebody took him. Where is that person? Why aren't they coming forward? What happened? Eddie's body was recovered by police diver John Deem. His shoes found at the bottom of the falls. Other things? Gone. I don't have his glasses. There's a jacket that's missing. Could they have washed down the stream? Well, it's possible, but why didn't I find him? We went up and down the stream bank. We couldn't find any of that stuff. And another thing not quite right. Eddie's dead body had a black eye. Brewster says the medical examiner had no good explanation. He says cause of death is accidental drowning. Now, if you tell me that you found someone who said he hit him in the head and threw him in the water, he says I'll go with that too. Well, what the heck is that? The autopsy showed alcohol in Eddie Frizon's system. Maybe he got rowdy and annoyed his driver, who dropped him in Leroy, not thinking Eddie would later drown. Brewster says they just don't know. Yet. We had done everything that we possibly could to try and figure out who was there with him. Could we have already talked to the guy? I think it's very likely we talked to the person. We almost had to. Brockport's not that big a town. For WBTA, I'm Jeff Reddick.